Hello, everybody. This is Terry Nance, and I want to welcome you to 8 Minutes Strong with Armor Bear. Uh, you know, it's been my privilege to come into your home or wherever you're at and just share the Word of God with you and the anointing that's on my life. You know, you teach what you know, you impart who you are. I am really sharing my heart and things that have helped me to walk with God and to be faithful. And so if you enjoy these videos, just uh, click the subscribe button, go to godsarmorbearer.com and just check that out. Look at my website. And if you, your pastor, or you want to host an Armor Bearer conference, just uh, go to the website, get my information. You can call me. Uh, my office number is 501-753-0033. I'll talk to you because we really believe that the armor bearer right now is just a revelation that it's 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 hasn't seen its its best day. In fact, it's uh, more relevant today than ever. You know, pastors are being challenged on every end. Uh, and I was just with the pastor and half his congregation has not come back. And I know pastor after pastor, they've lost finances. They've lost their congregations. So you say, well, what is God saying? Is God through with the local church? <laughs> Absolutely not. This is the day of the local church. You know, the Lord said, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. It's interesting one day. When I wrote uh, God's Armor Bearer, The Next Generation, I wrote it just about a year ago. I remember I asked the Lord because I had all the different, uh, you know, uh, groups, the the groups that, that have been on the earth. I mean, we've got the greatest generation to the silent generation, to the baby boomers, to the X generation, down to the millennials, to the Zs. And I was looking at all that and and there's a lot of characteristics and I was possibly going to put a lot of that in my book. And then I just kind of stopped and I asked the Lord, I said, well, where is that in the Bible? And I, I know when God speaks to me, because just right in my spirit, I heard go to Acts chapter two. And I went to Acts chapter two and I began to read where it says in the last days, I'll pour my spirit out upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. So our young people, it, God doesn't see it based on the way the world sees it. God sees it as these three generations that are in the earth right now. And that is the pro prophetic team, which is our children, our young men and women, which is the vision team, and then all the elders in the body of Christ, and that's that's those possibly over 55 and over, you're the dream team. And you know what? We have a right, and I'm over 55, and we have a right, believe me, to retire, but we don't have a right to stop dreaming. God wants to use us all, and he's going to use us all. And I do believe there's going to be a new awakening of uh, the Spirit of God on um uh, what we call a new Jesus movement. There's no question. I was with a young man here the other day. He was 30 years old. He began to share his testimony, uh, testimony with me. And gosh, God's made him very wealthy. And as he shared his testimony, he said, I'm going to tell you what my goal is. And I said, sure, tell it to me. He said, I'm going to buy my goals to have enough money when my pastor says I need a building. I'm going to write him a check for it. And he's already written several checks. And I just looked at him. I said, you know what? Most people your age don't even know, you know, where they're going, where they're headed. But you all you already know it. You are a giver. You've got that gift of giving and you're making a difference. God has called us to make a difference. Now, right now, what the spirit of God is saying is we need the Aaron and the hers. We need Aaron and the hers. When, when Moses held up the rod, and they were in a battle right after they had left Egypt. And as he held up the rod that God gave him, they were winning the battle. But when his hands got weak, he let the rod down and they began to lose. And so he would hold it up and let it down, hold it up. Now, Aaron and her were in distance enough. They saw what was going on. And the Bible didn't say that they asked per permission. They went and got a rock, brought it over to him, set him down on the rock, and then grabbed both sides of that rod and held it up with him. 
Now that right there is the sign of God of what God wants today. You are not behind your pastor, you're with your pastor. You're not here to compete, you are here to complete. And I, I want you to get that in you. You've got gifts and you've got callings. God didn't call you to sit around. He put something in you. And in this last day move of God, we're going to see the Davids. We're going to see the Daniels. We're going to see the young men and women. We're going to see them raised up by God. We're going to see their older men and women, I mean, having dreams. And, and we're going to see the young men having visions. And the anointing of God's going to bring it to pass. Now, every one of you have a part to play. And it all starts with the spirit and the heart of an armor bearer. And we need to let that spirit and that anointing get back deep on the inside of us. And it's an armor bearer refreshing is what we need. We've got to rebuild the foundations through that spirit and that heart of an armor bearer. Now I challenge you today, and I pray that you're watching this. You get up and you go call your pastor. You get up and you call uh, your leaders and you say, hey, what can I do for you? How can I be a blessing? If it's going over there and washing your pastor's car, just do it by faith. If it's doing his lawn, go over and just do it. You do something to sow. You know, the Bible says they are worthy of double honor. How would we honor a dignitary? Oh, we'd honor him. But think, your pastor is worthy of double honor. Billy Graham was asked one time, he said, why don't you run for president? He said, why step down? What a powerful word. So I want to just leave you on this Friday. I want to leave you with these truths as you're traveling down the road. And I bless you in the name of Jesus. I break every assignment of the devil against you in Jesus' name. And I thank you for the revelation of the armor bearer, the spirit on the armor bearer going deep on the inside of you. Go get the book. Uh, if you haven't read the book, get the book. It's gone all over the world, but it'll build a revelation in you, reestablish your purpose, and you know that you're called in the name of Jesus. You are blessed, and you have a wonderful and blessed day.